Uh, now I'll explain a little about the bolts that I used uh, uh, in this unit uh, because um, they are secured uh, bolts. So uh, once you open them, uh, you unscrew them, uh, you will want to replace them. Uh, but first uh, things first, uh, it's a quite an issue to, to, to unscrew them. What you should find uh, in this kind of units, uh, uh, there are two types of bolts that are uh, usually found. And here are the two. Uh, here is the Torx bit, and this one is a three wing bit. Um, you'll see there are a few sizes in which they come. Uh, but uh, the head are the most important because, as I told you, they are secured bits. So you need a special tool to open them, or if you fail, you have to um, come over that situation and um, sort it out. Okay, first, for the torque system, you'll need the Torx T20 and T25. The T25 should be around here. Yes, yeah. yeah. The T25. So one more thing here, you will find that the T20 will not go perfectly in uh, the head of the bolt. In this case, there is a, an, um, a solution to that, which is uh, like a lumber tag. Uh, you just need to fix the bit in the best position and then hammer it uh, until it locks, so you can very carefully unscrew it. If you do not take, uh, so pay attention too much when unscrewing this, uh, torques, you will uh, destroy the um, the torques inside, so the, the uh, size uh, of the star that which is inside, and then you will not be able to use uh, a tool to unscrew it. The same thing applies to the three wing, which uh, uh, you should have uh, this kind of set in which there is a bit like this one. This is a three wing bit. So if you just put it carefully into the head of the uh, bolt and very uh, uh, applying very good pressure and rotating at the same time, you might be lucky to unscrew it. Uh, if you are not and uh, you destroy uh, uh, the head, then there is another solution to, to, to take this out. Which is using some drills. And first, before this, I was thinking in using this kind of tool. I bought it, but uh, it's completely unuseful uh, for this thing. So it didn't help me. So what I did, I used a drill like this, which is one eighth, and put it in a drill machine. Then at the head, I drill it exactly the depth of the head exactly the, the depth of the head. After I did this hole, I replaced the drill with a larger one. This is 3 16. So after you put the new drill, when you are enlarging the hole that you already did, you'll see that at some point the head will just pop off. And it will leave something like this instead. So this is a bolt without the head. 
and you can see the hole inside still to be seen. Uh, of course, after you dismantle the piece, you have to take this bolt completely out. So for this job, you'll use this clamp, which is, has a secured mechanism here to, to lock in place. And you'll just find the best position in which you apply the greatest force in order to close it, to secure it, and then gently rotate it counterclockwise until you unscrew it completely. So this way you take the bolt out. Now, uh, after you did that, you need to replace the bolt, so you need the sizes. Uh, all the uh, all the bolts are metric bolts, so you'll find uh, not too easily, but I could find it uh, in uh, Home Depot, uh, in some drawers. So just ask the personnel of Home Depot, and they will point you out. What you'll need is the following uh, bolts to be replaced. For the case, you'll need four, and this is a bolt from the case and they are M4, uh, metric 4, and the length is 30 millimeters. You need four of them. Further on, the inside you will see there are another four bolts which are torques, but these are normally torques bolts, so they will come out and you can very easily reuse them, so this will not be replaced. Further on, when you get to the motors here, uh, this place, uh, the motors are fixed with two bolts each. Uh, these bolts are like this. They are metric 5, so M5, and the length is 20 millimeters. And the last, if you want to do that also, uh, the reservoirs are fixed with six bolts. The six bolts are like this. So uh, they are metric four and four, and the length is 15 millimeters. You need six of them. So. After you have the bolts and uh, everything in place, you can put back the unit. But do not forget the uh, rubber o-ring, uh, which comes to the each end to uh, at the end of the motors and seal the motor inside the unit. Uh, just for you to know also the dimension, because I didn't find in some other places. So this is the diameter, the inside diameter is about 39 millimeters. And the depth of the rubber, uh, the thickness is 1.8 millimeters. So you can, if you can find these o-rings and you can replace them very well. If you cannot, just use them the one that you have, but be careful not to be uh, damaged in any way. These O-rings are from inside and from here. So they come right here at the head, and it secures. So we look inside to have those uh, rubber ceilings in place, they are okay. The pump, the ceramic from the pump must be sealed from the face, the surface of the base of this uh, piece through these two rubber rings. So you check that to see if you feel the raised 
of the rubber seals because if you can't, they will not seal and the pump will reduce the pressure but will skip it over. So check this on and if it is necessary, you should replace, you, you should find these uh, sealing uh, rings. I told you it's about uh, uh, one centimeter on the exterior diameter and about 1.3 at the depth. So.